Going over the trades today on July the 12th. Down on the day, minus 46.70 in live trading. Fairly close to our hypotheticals. Put our end of day drawdown to 31.810 on a 250K portfolio. About a 12.8% drawdown. And the hypothetical end of day drawdown for the portfolio that we're trading is 18,435. The worst case drawdown on that is 25K. And let's go over the market. We are, you know, we're just in a new week, a uh, new trading week, a new trading month. We started live this month or this week for this month's trade. We didn't trade last week. And a new quarter as well. And so these, all these numbers are the same. And we're up on the year from Q1 and Q2 gains. And let's look at the market and the trades on the day. It's CPI coming out today and big gap up. Really the only way to have profited from this gain on the day would be to be long at the long at the close yesterday and just holding it. So um, from, a, from a passive perspective, there's a gain on the day of 200 points in the NASDAQ. And mostly the closed open is about the same, not much difference. You get a gap up, continuation, stop run. We've seen these stop runs every day the last, so far this month, this market wants to uh, do this stop running and it runs up and then does more stop running and then it comes back here. And so difficult summer price action with the low VIX. Uh, the VIX is in the 13 handle again. And you know, this. Wednesdays are one of the best days to short the market. When I look back at the uh, at the strategies, it's actually a good day to short the market. And so, right now, um, it looked like we could get some shorts going here and fill this gap and have a key reversal day. But this liquidity just keeps on propping this market up, even though it's at highs on the year. So it's highs on the year. There is no give back. Just propping it right back up. Up here, we were close to break even on the day. We mainly we were mainly long on the day, stopped out, kept adding to longs, and then you know you, we've seen this where it, where it sells off, rallies, and then goes back to highs. But um, right here we were around break even and just kept pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, would not follow through, and you know some end of day stop running as well. So potentially contentious market it seems. Um, the ticks were trending down all day, and the market was just propped up even at all time highs. Pretty extreme uh, market environment that we're in. And um, you see the advanced decline line trends down all day as well. Um, the S&P um, choppy as well. The Russell choppy. The VIX down at 13.5. Let's look at the 24-hour session. Um, you can see the NASDAQ. Let's look at the NASDAQ on 15-second charts. It's hard to see the full session there. So CPI came out in the pre-market. You can't see that on the uh, day session dot D symbol, but you can see it right here. The market drifted higher during the night, and then um, CPI surged the market. It was better than expected, surged again, and then the market came right back down here, um, ran the lows on the day session, almost gave back all the CPI gains, and then rallied again, and sold off again here, and then rallied again, and so... Um, overall, a hard type of pattern to trade, uh, similar to these patterns and these patterns and this rollover pattern in this market right now. And so we're seeing um, a market in the first half of July being very difficult. What I have tested is that Thursdays and Fridays are, the, are some of the best trading days over the past year. So I'm looking forward to Thursday and Friday's trade. Hopefully we get a bounce. It's been a very difficult since, since May. May the 5th was our last equity peak, so over two months away, and we've had a difficult market environment to trade since then, and so we continue to adjust to this market, look for favorable days, very hard to trade this kind of price action, and unusual for the market to chop this much um, with a very little trend in it on the day session. So let's look at the trades on the day, the S&P. A uh, data moving average rotated four different times, four different long, short, long, short, down the day, minus 1887.50. Tick wave stopped out the low. Here's that, here's that stop running price action we talk about. Market has a tendency right now just to uh, run down until it senses selling and then it rallies again. And so minus 825. Um, tick count trend dynamic turnaround plus 75. 
Our chopper strategies were up on the day, plus 5, 12, 50, and plus 600 on Tick Chop News. And then the um, NASDAQ strategies, Cobra 3 uh, got in near the highs. Uh, Viper is actually up on the day just a little bit. You can see that, see that once again. We're also we're getting this um, price action where you see, um, let me compress one of these other charts. See if we can get it in here, the full chart on a, a five minute chart maybe. So you can see on momentum reversal down here, I want to see the whole chart. You're seeing up, down, and then flat at the end of the day. This is end of day flat. Um, reminds me of the old days where we had pit markets in the summer with low VIX and the markets would die out, be stop running, pit running, pit, pit session, stop running, and then de a dead market. And so it seems like, you know, even though we don't have the pit markets, it seems like there's still some of that in there. Um, and so Viper up on the day a little bit, Robot down on the day, um, EVP1 tried to get short. Here's here's one of the short trades on the day was EVP1. Tried to go short at the end of the day, looked like there would be some selling. Um, as soon as it looks precipitous, there seems to be liquidity that steps in and buys every little narrow dip. Um, tick count trend got long here, stopped out. Um, it also, um, tick pullback was up a little bit on the day. You can just see um, the what is the advantage, what is the day trade advantage on a day like today? Open to close. Um, up, we're up on the day about 775. So while you see a big gain of 200 points, which is $4,000 per contract, the open to close is about plus 775. Um, we got in here. We didn't have a profit target. We had a big stop loss. End of day exit. And so it was profitable just like yesterday. But the um, sometimes when you get these bull market moves, the bulk of the gain is overnight or at the very end of the day or pre-market and so um, tick long aggressive was down down on the day minus 155 OPV and Q minus 150250 two days in a row two losing trades in a row max 7 minus 75 and so once again difficult price action here is the portfolio calculator uh, not portfolio calculator but the portfolio trader in multi charts and you can see um, we're in a normal drawdown for the current portfolio that we're trading and so it has these drawdowns we started in a drawdown and we have um, I guess we started in this area right in here and we're at minus we'll go over the final results here 4500 on the month and on the quarter let's look at the money management algorithms again so here it is, the MM Daily PL sending all the equity curve information from these strategies on one minute bars, 17 SP strategies, 17 NASDAQ strategies, and you can see um, see the nature. We were up at the beginning of the day. You know, I thought we'd have one of those gap continuation days, you know, maybe, maybe move a little higher, but maybe not much higher than four, uh, 15 5, maybe 15 550, maybe 15 600, but came back down here and then I thought okay we're gonna have a key reversal day and then they brought it back up they brought it right back up to the beginning of the sell-off and so we were like I said almost break even right here almost back to break even after this uh, challenging sell-off here that took back the gains and then um, it you know, chopped again it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't trade up to our average entry price and chopped again and you see this spike down here and then we came back and then we needed a little bit our position was such that if we had a move to here would have been about break even on the day um, but it wouldn't move so um, you can see that in the equity curve you can see um, the results of this portfolio calculator I want to show you the back tested results once again here are the back tested results through yesterday on an end of day um, end of day basis here through yesterday you can see the drawdown one of, the, one of these normal drawdowns. It's not the worst case drawdown. And let's look at um, these results. I had to make one adjustment on one of the strategies on one minute charts to match up correctly. And so this number was 31K yesterday. It's 3906 today, um, 3743 the last two years. 
and we are um, in this drawdown looking for a bounce and let's look at um, if you only trade on Thursday or Friday so the equity curve on Thursdays and Fridays is a little bit more peaceful and you can see um, you know almost 70% of the gains 70% of the gains in this portfolio are on Thursday and Friday even though it's only 40% of the trading days for the last two years and so the drawdown is lower too so something to consider just trading on Thursdays and Fridays uh, since this time period since 2022 uh, Thursdays and Fridays seem to be the smoothest and so looking forward to tomorrow's trade once again these are the final trades on the day for July the 12th 2020 hey David Bean here welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders we are real money traders we share our winning streaks we share our losing streaks as well as market updates strategies and coding tips